good morning this is one of my series of lessons on the Amharic language for foreigners today I will cover the topic forming Amharic sentences in the last lessons we covered pronouns verbs and how to conjugate them adjectives so today one of the things I should tell you before I start the lesson is I chose uh, the name Ababa a very common name in Amharic teaching it's also a very common name in the Amharic culture Ababa is just a male's name it means to blossom or he, so literally it could mean he blossomed not to confuse my student I also chose Ababach as a female's name female's equivalent of Ababa Chi being the gender marker so what we'll cover is for something which has just been accomplished which is more or less the present perfect in all four forms of the second person masculine feminine respect and plural then after we'll go to passive formation Or active passive formation in Amharic in the four pronouns the next one is the one about forming questions then after forming negatives in Amharic so let us go to the first lesson I chose the the noun email which is also email in Amharic not to just confuse the learner my first sentence is Ababa email laka which means Ababa has sent an email or sometimes Ababa sent an email so Ababa as I told you being the name then email is email Laka is sent Ababa email Laka Ababa sent an email you can see the word order here email comes next to the name so the verb is at the end as it is most often in Amharic except for inversion in which case you could say email like a bubble in rare cases so this is for second person masculine now for second person feminine we should change the name Ababa to Ababach because the female's name is Ababach. We have such female's names as Ababach, Ayelech, Belletech, Amarech, Zenabach, Asselefech, Asagedech. Like Chi is female marker. And when you remove the Chi, it will be a male's name. That is what I'm having. Naming. Except for this time, people are naming their children with Jewish names the Christians like Samuel and Emmanuel so Ababach now I think we have agreed that it is a female's name we said Ababa email Laka for for the second person masculine can you try now to form a sentence 
for a beverage which is second person feminine have you tried i think it is simple a beverage email luggage a beverage email luggage the difference is g at the end Laka for masculine, laka for feminine. At the name, abba changes to abba vach, laka changes to laka It's the same for other verbs. Bella, bella. Ta 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 ta. Bella is eight. Eight for masculine, then eight for feminine shall be ta ta. Bella, bella, bella. Ta 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 ta. Tamara, tamara. Tamara is learned, he learned, she learned is that Tamaraj. Heda, Hedaj, went. Heda, Hedaj. Attava, Attavaj, washed, washing something. But washing your hands is Tatava. Tatava, Tatavaj. Safa, Safaj, wrote. Adamata, listened. Adamata, Adamata. Aya ayech. To see is aya. Aya ayech. Bella bellach. Alakasa alakasach. Webbed. Alakasa alakasach. So the pattern is simple like that. Oh, I've been saying uh, second person. The third person. Third person, masculine and feminine. But second person, because this is the one I always use to give examples. When I say, Bellah, Bellash, you eat is Bellah, Bellash, you eat for the feminine that's why i confused the listener i think if you had some prior lessons you recognize the error i made so still we are in third person when we are talking about ababa and ababach i'm talking about he when i talk to you you are the listener i'm the person telling you and I'm pointing at Ababa, or I'm mentioning Ababa, three bodies, so we are referring to the third person, that's the logic behind. What about Ababa is an old man, like Atu Ababa, Atu is a title as you might know, Atu Ababa, Atu Ababa, a person, an old man you respect. So you would not say Laka, Bella, Tata, for an old man, you'd say, you'd add the U sound to the stem. U sound. Laka, it was Laka. It was, the stem is lak. Then Laka, A uh, for third person masculine. Then let's come to the respect. Atwa Baba, Atwa Baba, Ime Laku. Atwa Baba, Ime Laku. So, ooh. something similar to this is if Ababa and his friends are sending email. So, Ababa et al. sent email. Ababa et al sent email it could be anabba email laku anabba email laku so that is anabba email laku so now can you repeat these sentences after me 
አባበ ኢሜል ላከል አባበች ኢሜል ላከች አቶ አባበ ኢሜል ላኩ እና አባበ ኢሜል ላኩ good so we have understood what goes in the third person for masculine feminine respect and plural laka he can say to lack the the stem lack you can associate it with the english word lack lack laka lakach laku now let's go to the next one i mentioned earlier which is the passive formation let's consider this first earlier i was referring to one verb ayya in amharic we would refer to the third person when we talk about the stem uh, yeah, but you know you should go back one step to la like lak laka so laku as i said earlier i uh, yeah. let's say i is the stem i because this is your i in english i then for third person plural we say i i yeah, because it is aye uh, ayech like that for the female so we we'll say to to say ababa aye ababa so you say ababa aye ababa ai then you add uh, ababa aye ababa aye okay to make it just to show you the active voice ababa so alamu so we'll add something to aya ayo which refers to the object ababa alamun ayo ayo only for the man because alamu is a man if it were another female guy he so would say ababa ababachin ayat like ayat i at for the female ababa alamun ayo because alamu is both of them in this case are males ababa alamun ayo okay what if it is ababach who saw alamu ababach alamun ayechu ababach alamun ayechu aye ayechu what if it is ababa for respect atu ababa alamun ayut atu ababa alamun ayut Mr. Abba, so Adam. What if it is Abba etal? Abba etal? And Abba? Abba and his friends, maybe. And Abba, Alamun, Ayut. The same for respect. The same as for respect. Now let us say them once again and you say after me ababa alamun ayo ababach alamun ayechu ato ababa alamun ayut ana ababa alamun ayut so using the stem i we form these when 
person sees another person when the action transfers from the doer to the receiver now what if there is a direct and indirect object that's another case let's just see this with another simple example by taking Ababa and Alamu they say because this idea of direct object comes when it is given to somebody let's say Ababa gave Alamu money Ababa gave money to Alamu Ababa la Alamu genzab sato Ababa la Alamu genzab sato to Alamu la Alamu to Alamu is to is la Ababa la Alamu Lalamu Genzab Sato. Genzab is money, Sato is give. Just when the man gives to the man, Sato. Sat is to give. Sata who which refers to the receiver is still here. As earlier we said Ayo. Ababa Lalamu Genzab Sato. Can you say after me? Ababa Lalamu Genzab Sato. Lalamu. If, if when you write it is Lalamu, but when you say it is Lalamu, Ababa Lalamu Genzab Sato. Or let's say word after word. Ababa Lalamu Genzab Sato. Ababa Lalamu Genzab Sato. I think you find it a bit difficult to say ta, but it is simpler. It's like ta, but it is ta. What if it is Ababach who gave Alamu? Ababach la Alamu genzab satachu. Ababach la Alamu genzab satachu. Ababach gave Alamu money. Ababach la Alamu. Can you say after me? Ababach La Alamu Genzab Satachu Ababach La Alamu Genzab Satachu Ato Ababa La Alamu Genzab Satut Ato Ababa La Alamu Genzab Satut Mr. Ababa gave Alamu money. Can you say after me? Ato Ababa Lalamu Genzab Satut What if it is a Baba et al? Anna Baba Lalamu Genzab Satut Anna Baba Lalamu Genzab Satut Ababa et al. Give money to Alam. Can you say after me? Nababa. Lalamu. Genzab. Satut. 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 Good, now you are going well, I think you are following me. So, some important thing we could mention around here is uh, when you punctuate Amharic, at least you should know the full stop. Sorry. Full stop is not one dot, but it is four dots. It's like two colons. But you may ask, after all, I'm unaware of even how to write Amharic, you may ask me. But that is a bit tricky, however you learn it through time. Because the incorporated vowel in Amharic 
you will be adding pieces of like circles or like a hyphen by the bottom or by the middle or on top then that will have a difference in meaning or in the sound that letter makes let's go to the next part the next thing I wanted to cover is uh, question formation in Amharic you know last time when I was uh, taking a training for English teachers in Addis they said that there are five ways of forming questions in, in English these are using the verb to do like do you have a pencil using the verb to be like it is your country using the verb to have like have you taken the pencil and the WH where do you come from and models can you speak American but now when I just try to form questions using these you just can't it's not like that for example if you take the verb to be is it is your country then is like let's change this same sentence into Amharic Yihe antagarno Yihe antagarno So this comes at the beginning This your country is <laughs> comes like it is your country so is no is no cannot come at the beginning so we cannot say a question formed using verb to be because the sentence does not start using that in English it starts with those verbs or helping verbs you may find this hard unless you like to learn the sentence formation and know okay let's just ask I have just brought some examples Naga disabate hidala. Naga disabate hidala. Adisaba is like the way I say Adisaba. We don't say Adisaba. Naga is tomorrow. Naga Adisaba. Tehidala. Can you guess what it means? Naga Adisaba. Tehidala. I'm asking the second, the second person here. Yeah. You. What am I asking? Naga Adisaba Batidal. I think you heard to head out like these head things. So this, this is Will you go to Addis tomorrow? 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 Naga Adisaba Tidal. Tidal is that. Will you go? So everything is incorporated in one verb even you can say tedal if it's understood would you go however like when we check if the person has any belonging like let's check the verb to do now betal betal like do you have a house? Beat is house. Beat Allah. I'm asking the second person. Allah. Beat Allah. Who at the end of Allah shows I'm asking who a man. Beat Allah. Beat Allah. I'm asking a she. You. But it is not third person. It is second person. You. Do you have a house? Beat Allah. I'm asking a girl. Good. Can you say after me? Beta la. Beta lesh. Nagadi sabati dal la. 
नगाटी सावा थी जालश मैं सावल लाचू दिस इज़ हैव यू हैड लंच मैं सावल लाचू मैं साइज लंच Belachu is you had. Have you had lunch? Is Miss Avalachu? Miss Avalachu? Email Lakachu? Have you sent email? Area we saw Lakaya. Email Lakachu? Miss Avalachu? Gunzab said Tachu? It could be like, did he give you money or did you give him money? Did you give them money? Did you give money? Amarinyat chalish, Amarinyat chalish, which means do you speak Amharic for a woman when you are asking a woman? Do you speak Amharic? That is Amarinyat chalish. It's not Amarinyat nagrelish. Sorry, Amarinyat nagrelish is do you speak Amharic? But the chalish, like the chalish literally is you can. It's like you can Amharic, can you Amharic? If you blame them, Amharic yaman nagar to chalish, can you speak Amharic? Amharic yaman nagar to chalish, Amharic yaman nagar to chalish, do you speak Amharic? Amharic yaman nagar to chalish, can you? Amharic, can you speak Amharic would be, Amharic yaman nagar to chalish, man nagar is to speak. Amarinya menagar tu cahilish, kan ini saya fahami. Amarinya menagar tu cahilish. Let's go to models now. So, amarinya menagar tu cahilish is model. Polite request could be. Lea gizunye chilalu. Lea gizunye chilalu. Can you help me? With respect. Lea gizunye chilalu. Can you help me? Let's go to WH. I was referring to WH earlier. I said models. So WH could be. Kate no imetashu. Kate no imetashu. Is where do you come from? Kate no imetashu. No, is like is. Where do you come from? Kate no imetashu. A response could be, I came from this place. Like, ka America no imetaut. Ka America no imetaut. I came from America. So this is. Question formation in Amharic. We get used to it. Let's go to negatives. Most often we have add as a negative marker. Add this up al hidden. While using the verb head to go. To go. Add this up al hidden. Any Addis Abal Hedim. I will not go to Addis. Any Addis Abal Hedim. Any Debra Abraham Al Hedim. I will not go to Debra Abraham. Al, then me is also a negative marker. So it has negative markers at the beginning and at the end. Al Hedim. Any Addis Abal Hedim. Simply or simply, I'll not go to Addis. Addis have I'll hate him. Addis have I'll hate him for you, feminine. Addis have I'll hate him. Okay, what about other negatives outside of Ad and me? I'll hate him. When we say I don't have money, we say, and it can be like. Any kinds of it, like you, yeah, like you, 
the same is al 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 then the opposite is yell 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 refers to the first person and again the bill anchi you the for the female yell shim anchi yell shim anta yell him yell yellam is common yellam there is no you have something they say yellam cardal yellam mobile al yellam network al yellam so ane ganze bellenyum negative amarin yal chilim which means i don't speak amharic amarin yal chilim America al hedem I will not go to America Ethiopia al hedem Asal odem I don't like fish Asal odem You know the positive or affirmative is oh I like any China no dalo I like China ne is the object marker any China no dalo I like China any China na lo I don't like China any America no dalo I like America any America na lo I don't like America like that I like red color Samayawi kalam kalam alodim. I don't like blue color. So to do some recap, what we had is sentence formation in Amharic with a varying word order than the English one. Then active formation, active formation, like including the one with direct and indirect object. At the beginning, I said passive formation because we say active, passive, active, passive. Passive formation, passive formation uh, could really be, yeah, just Abba Munayo is. Active above so Alamu. Alamu Taya. Alamu was seen is like Alamu Taya. It could be complicating things. Alamu Taya. Alamu Tassara. Alamu was imprisoned. Alamu Tassara. Alamu was imprisoned. Alamu Tamaraka. Alamu graduated. It's like in Amharic, uh, it is active. Okay. Alamu Tashallama, Alamu was awarded. Alamu Tashoma, Alamu was appointed. So, like that. After this, we saw Christian formation in Amharic, then negative formation. So, in any language, I think there is the affirmative question and negative knowing these how to form these sentences is advisable because when you speak them or when you listen somebody saying them it will be simpler for you to know then you would pick any word and put it in these places and try to practice your own haric. so these are the points I had today, in addition to the previous lessons we had on verbs and how to conjugate them, then pronouns, the different pronouns we have and the verb forms they follow, they are followed by, and then adjectives which are equally important in Amharic because we talk about what type something is. and. I would encourage you to 
learn more Amharic and you'll be using it comfortably in a very short while. Have a nice day. Thank you. This is Mazamir Grima from Devra Brani, Ethiopia.